Welcome back. We are continuing our run in Victoria 3 as the Ottomans. We are trying to avoid the sick man of Europe <coughs> malice thing by completing four journal entries. We've completed two so far. One's about to pop, and the other one we are trying to get is reclaiming Syria. And so this episode we will be either preparing to fight Egypt or actually fighting Egypt. Um, <coughs> wow. Divine right plus 10% authority got activated. And that is pretty substantive. We could add some more consumption taxes if we wanted. This just, like, just just happened. Um, I'm not sure what consumption taxes we would want to add, but we could do something even better, actually. We can empower the intelligentsia or bolster them with some of it. And then I don't think there's another consumption tax we'd want to put in other than maybe porcelain. Uh, but I think we'll just take the faster tick speed on enactment, we will take a trade agreement with Austria. We would also love a trade agreement with Russia. We are importing a lot of stuff from both these nations, so why don't we see about our Diplo? Uh, what, we, what are we spending a lot of this on? Improving relations with Russia. So what if we did not improve relations with France? Could we trade agreement with Russia, because we are doing quite a lot of volume. No, not even if we owed an obligation. Okay, so we will... Continue to improve relations. We can ally with Persia, they would not accept. So right now, what we are working on is getting more explosives up and going, because that will allow us to... Ooh, this is nice. Um, the additional explosives will... allow us to enact another production method we have been working on transitioning to. And that is having nitroglycerin everywhere. <coughs> in fact, we can start putting it in. It looks like. We're just going to push it in everywhere, even though it's not productive, just because we want to have more of an output of goods. And soon we will be able to create ammunition um, once we finish the mill tech we're working on, which is general staff. Or does it, actually? We need this one, not general staff. General staff allows us to use it. We need this other tech <coughs> to make the ammo. So, considering we're not as close as we thought, maybe kick these to the bottom. But not very long queue. And uh, take a look at... Yeah, a little bit of a mistake there on our part. We need two techs in order to... And we do have to go to war with Syria. Well, we could actually just go up to... Bring our military up to 250. Because if we look at army modernization, if we have a <coughs> battalions of 250, and then enact all of our super modern uh, methods, we will hit that. So... We will actually just go for the guarantee, because the Egypt play could just go horribly wrong as well. Um, I suppose I will start actually getting into that now. We'll just wind the capital up to max barracks level. So we are going to need to add a hundred more barracks, which will increase military wages by like 50%. Um, but we are not consuming any military goods, so it's will be fine. Um, and then we'll slowly try and build into it. We'd love to see the goldfields complete. 
because then they allow gold mines. Alright. <clears throat> have a think here. So the Anatolia HQ is 55. This one's 70. Arabia is... So I think we'll expand the caucuses all the way. So we need to get another 80. Need to get another 70. Need to get another 25. Actually, need to get another 50. We'll look for places that already have some. Oh, we actually only need 45 more. We want to turn on the Anatolian tech to max level and just keep the other ones down low and just use the Anatolian one. So maybe we actually just want. Hmm. I think we want a little bit more though. when it finishes, so 25 more. We have a lot in Balkans. Let's add... We're already allowed now. We're adding a lot in Arabia. I think that what we want to add where there's already some. So we have to add 25 more. five more somewhere. How about here? And once our queue finishes, <coughs> I guess we should have probably done it based on peasants a little bit, but... this way what we'll do is long term we'll just sit on the lowest level of PMs for every place that's not Anatolia and then we will slowly expand that and I think we can just kick the arms industries down to the very bottom <clears throat> and 
and then we will finish getting rid of the sick man of Europe without having to fight Egypt right away. Oh, what are your input penalties? Shortage of iron. This is exciting that we're going to be doing well on this. <clears throat> and the Unholy Alliance is quite strong. We're getting there. Certainly the Intelligentsia are part of the Unholies. Maybe the Trade Unionist would be the next one. Can't make the trade unions strong early on. Two Sicilies importing engines from us. And academic assistance. Yeah, we don't mind losing the third, but. Might even want to wind down the military after we get it up to 250 just to pip this. We'll probably wind down anything that has five guys because those are more of a pain to manage later. And what's expensive in our market? Coffee, which we can't make. Sugar. We can make the silk. I don't think we have any infrastructure problems currently. We will eventually, such as the way of things. Could also pay the military less wages and keep them around. Don't think I like that idea. I'd rather have a smaller, more elite military. But while we have this military built up, maybe that is the time to take on Egypt. And then wind down post. Alright. We're just kind of derping around here. This was a little bit of a interesting situation. Well, lucky for us, we'll establish the colony here. And we will look to, I think we can declare another interest now. Here will be our next colonization. Yeah, these irregulars are gonna do pretty poorly against the natives. But there's only three, so just kidding, they won't. That would be bad news bears uh, if someone intervened in our thing. Oh, did Mapuche back down? I didn't even realize they could back down. Okay. Well, that's nice for us to get like all of Patagonia. <coughs> Can we grow anything there that we can't grow domestically? Wheat dies. Holy dies. We are going to need to build a port for that to work. <clears throat> yep. 
just the dies, it looks like. And our tax thing went through. Might want to slowly start rebuilding the navy as well. is expensive. We're handling silks a little bit. Just general. <coughs> general and consumer goods are expensive. So. I know what we're gonna do. I forgot we're not, we don't have the decree on yet of encouraging manufacturing in our capital. Which is kind of uh, something I like to do. Now that it is becoming manufacturing. But if we don't, it's not too big a deal. Whoa. Let's see if any place doesn't have, uh... We're working on that. Should be able to. Let's just take a quick look. The number of battalions the Ottoman Empire has is greater than our equal to. It is, though. We have 250 battalions. Maybe you have to wait for Monday for that to update. Hmm. Let's wait for our arms industries to finish before we turn that on. Well, let's actually turn it on. And keep an eye on this. It should... Maybe it actually has to exceed and not be equal to. If I have 250, oh, why do we not have 250 battalions? Wait, what? Okay. That would explain it.
but why we have 251 barracks, but we only have 200. I'm confused how that works. But we're adding nine more. Barracks is one barracks does not equal one battalion. Yes. So let's see about this add to the number of battalions? I find this a bit confusing, perplexing. Oh, maybe we should have interviewed in that. Okay. An additional 25. Oh, they haven't fully recruited yet. That's why. I will actually cancel a whole bunch of these. It's gotta fully recruit. Recruitment takes some time. This should slowly rise, right? Yep. It will rise up to the level. That was a curious little thing. Makes sense though. Also definitely makes it so we have to overbuild. I don't know about we're gonna finish this tech just so we can build the ammo, but I don't think we're gonna end up using it in a war against Egypt. Actually, no, we could use elite troops from Anatolia, and then have everyone else be something else. And then wind down the others after the war. Uh, we did pass our thing. So, do want to ban slavery, we'll radicalize the landowners, they will not be happy with us. Pretty much everything will make them mad though, that we want to pass.
do want a total separation. The Sunni Ulema will in immediately get mad at us and we'll lose a bunch of authority. Whereas they don't mind getting rid of banning the slavery, so we're gonna ban slavery first, I think. Let's go general staff. And now, do we have enough? Still do not have enough battalions. Why don't we bring that up to an even... ...90. And that should get the recruitment to go a little bit faster. Hmm. Well, this is good for us. Kind of want them to back down. Mobilizing doesn't cost anything because they don't have any equipment, so. I don't think. And then hopefully they back down, which means we are going to want to make more colonies somewhere. We will choose here. I'm going to up this and also, uh, we need more government admins because when... Oh, the petite bourgeoisie is the one that controls that, so... When we make the Ulema mad, we can afford to do that. We don't need to get a bunch of extra. Divine right deactivated, so we should get punched to the nuts in just a second here, on the next Monday, right? In terms of this. they just back down? They did just back down. Okay. So. We got Patagonia and Hokkaido, which seems like a really big win. Just one more tick. Revolution bring. Might have to back down off this, actually. So now, I think we just need to up all these and then wait a tick, right? And then we can switch them all back, except for here, where we had line infantry. Is Revolution still brewing? Okay, so if we go after the Ulema, we're going to lose a whole bunch of authority, but that's fine. Oh, but this will radicalize uh, landowners. Uh, 
I assume this will radicalize them too. No, there's the petite bourgeoisie and the lemma. <laughs> would be good. I think it might be time to just wait and chill. are good. And we can also build ammunition factories, which we won't need just yet. Sulfur. Explosives are expensive. Oh, my brain. Okay. actually. I'm just thinking, kind of cruising along, but we want to get our lands back from them. Do we have any more journal entries, or is that... Nope, that's, that's the Ottomans' thing. Yep. Are we paying rail subsidies a little bit? It's not too bad. Um, what's expensive? Sulfur, glass, 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 sugar. glass over around here. You're making China. Don't really want to finish these munition plants until get the tech for skirmish infantry, and then we can turn it on. Colonization of Sackland completed. Nice. Colonizing here. When we piss off the petite bourgeoisie, we're going to lose a bunch of administration. 
just something we gotta keep in mind when trying to pass laws. They all make the landowners who are already really mad, mad. I guess they're not that mad. Hmm. Getting rid of slavery makes them really mad though, right? That radicalizes them. Is there one that we could do that would not radicalize them? I think total separation will radicalize them. Yeah. But freedom of conscience will not. We will lose a ton of bureaucratic good man doing that though. Go free trade. It's not way, way better than mercantilism though. Laissez faire is way better. And this will be better to pass before we start getting trade unions, unionists. So maybe we do this. <coughs> yeah. And I would build more construction industries, but we're about to increase like military expenditure by a huge amount. means we're going to actually need to build uh, port in the clubs. Let's take a quick look through our PMs for stuff like this. Just missed before. I know the ship one we can upgrade, but we are not producing a lot of ships, anyways. And this. This should be good. So, and then we gotta make grain cheaper. Where has the most peasants? Who do we want to trade with long term might be the question to ask ourselves there. France is in Gabon. Is this France? Yeah. So we might want to start getting on that, actually. So instead, we're going to declare interest elsewhere. So why can we not colonize the Longo? We need quinine in order to even do it. Okay. We'll get on that.
love a trade agreement. He's cautious against us. Big Sag. I'm gonna pause real quick, I'll be right back. Oops, we accidentally left it run. Oops, I forgot to restart the thing. So what's going on is uh, added a little bit to the queue. Got a furniture there. We're going to specialize in furniture here. And we're going to specialize in clothes here, which are two most populated states. Passed a couple, or passed one technology. Um, and so we put ammo to the top. Once these finish, we're going to switch over our PMs and get ready for war. Uh, and we are going to need to actually sort out which generals are where. So, we're going to have to recruit generals in places. We don't want to promote any of them. So we'll recruit one in the Caucasus. Ugh. Just kidding. Where are the Caucasus? Right here. We're going to open up the military. Hmm. Up to this. I'm a Lemma Theocrat. Well, I guess we will recruit a general in the Caucasus. Okay, and then recruit one in the Balkans. on is just consumer goods and stuff to make our people happier uh, because the price of stuff is expensive. <sighs> they are paying a lot. The lowest strata is paying a lot for grain, clothes, and also tobacco, so we'll add some tobacco to the queue. Where has the most peasants? So that'll be a lot more tobacco. on those munitions plants. But yeah, much more patient uh, go at taking on Egypt. And once we take on Egypt, then I think we'll wind this military down a bit. Baghdad? Yeah, that's fine. Just waiting on these to finish, really. All right, we'll get the demand started in this place. Oh, that's a lot of events. I don't want the intelligence here getting weaker. Uh, let's get rid of duels, because we don't want our one industrialist general. We don't want force our hand. Oh, we don't want to radicalize him though. Yeah, sure, I guess. You earned your thing you didn't earn. Now we will 
switch over the PMs of everything. So we will switch everything to line infantry, except for skirmish infantry for there and Kanya. Cut a mom. Arizona, I think, is part of the. switch them all also over to mobile artillery. It's going to be pain while we're readjusting. It looks like we're going to need some more government events. See where are arms industries? They're almost all here. How are they doing? Would you make more with smooth boards? You would not. Arms are really expensive though. So I think this is the other place we have them. We'll expand a little bit. Because they are making gobs of money. have to wait for our maybe this to get halfway and then we'll start the diplomatic play against Egypt. Well, not like that. Whenever I choose to do it. Alright, I'm going to take a quick save and uh, start the play against Egypt. Return states, where are you? Adana. It's gonna give me a lot of infamy. Okay, well. I 
defense all will take in one war. And we have enough to try and convince someone. anyone on the Tripoli front because we can't supply it. How are our arms or our ammo things doing? Okay, we overbuilt them a little bit. about that stuff a little bit. Please no come in, Daddy Russia. Mm. Ah, if they join, we'll probably reload. <laughs> we added too many war goals, maybe. Please no, Daddy. We can't fight the both subsidies. Too much trade with you, Daddy. <laughs> Although we definitely like overbuilt the military. We're gonna wind down a, a significant portion of it <laughs> after this. Russia didn't join, so here we are. Oh, we should have had them release the state, maybe. Definitely want the war. I think they're gonna take the war because they really hate us and not back down. Yeah. States and then be in very good shape. <laughs> but we don't have, uh, somehow we don't have. Oh. He has kidney stones and he has a positive thing. Okay. Seems like it might be an error to just leave this completely open, but maybe not. We were paying a lot for uh, military goods. 
we've input shortages so it doesn't work well. I kick that to the top of the queue. So we need one here as well in order to properly connect it. Oh, this one's gonna take a little while. Let's look at Diplo and see who we can improve our relations with. I definitely want Russia to like us. Crystal glass, let's see that be yeah. More lead, seems fine. be well on our way. Middle managers deactivated. We still have a bureaucratic bonus. I forgot that we gained a ton of bureaucracy uh, from finishing the uh, the thing. The mission for the Ottomans, the like well man of Europe one. Do we still not have a level 4 steel wheel somewhere? We have one. Does it have to be fully employed? Okay. Engines are too cheap. Need to increase demand for engines. We are paying a lot for railways, so it's time we activated some... That'll give us more services. And increase the price of railways. Or of transportation, which will, in turn, make it so we have to pay less for the subsidy. developing quite nicely. Let's see what laws we want to get through to. We really want to abolish slavery. I just have concerns. It's going to start... Well, it's going to start a revolution. They're already pretty mad. But I do want to get rid of it. I also want to liberalize a little bit. Um, I guess this is empowering them. And so if we switch to a parliamentary republic, that would radicalize them, but this would allow us to use a government we like more. Of course, we kind of like that the monarch's intelligentsia. We want to switch that. Only slightly oppose this. <laughs> Triple A is just cleaning up. War is going to be over soon, and we're almost running. Then we will switch an enormous amount of the money we're spending on military to spending it on construction. Uh, 
That looks ugly. The capital's taken. I don't think we can wind down the military mid-war. Pharmaceuticals, we will go from quinine now. But we definitely don't need a lot of these mills. That's not, uh, that's not even that much saved. We're going to wind down a lot of these, uh, ones that are ten or less. That still needs to come down. Let's see how it adjusts a little bit. Let's look at our government goods. What's expensive? Munitions expensive. We need transport there. Well, I suppose we can wind down some of these. That's good. We have exactly 200 battalions. Alright, now if we switch some of these back, it's really not going to save us too much money, but we'll just keep the elites. We can build a ton of extra construction, which we will need to uh, branch out or really start popping off. Seems to be the most important thing in the game is having really high construction. And then we will wait for our infamy to tick down. And once it ticks down, we'll take the rest of our stuff back from Egypt. So I'm going to call it an episode for today. Uh, we got rid of the sick man of Europe thing today. I think that was this episode. And then we also smacked Egypt around 
um, which is nice. Took like half of Syria, a little over half of Syria back, and we'll take Syria and Crete back next time, which actually does mean we need to start building a navy. Um, so we will need to switch these over to military shipbuilding. That's something. Um, so that's what we'll be looking to do next episode, is uh, wind up our construction way high. Uh, let's just see if we can lower taxes now. Well, we could lower taxes, but instead we want to have increased construction really high. Which I really think is the most important stat in the game. If we look at tech, uh, we'll need to start switching back over to here to get these techs. Um, and start moving into this, like, this here will be what we get after Quinine. Once we get Quinine, we'll be settling around here. Currently settling clubs. Which, overall, we've gotten super lucky in terms of getting native uprisings extremely quickly. Um, which is, like, a horrible mechanic, because the native uprising uh, is good for you. It allows you to uh, get the entire territory faster. Anyways, um, feel free to do the YouTube algorithm stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.